Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are doing something groovy today. We are going to be doing some tie-dye. And usually, we do tie-dye at the end of the school year. The last week of the school year, we all have a great time. We make some funky tie-dye t-shirts. We kind of relax, have a great time. And we're not there to do it in school this year. And I think most of us probably don't have tie-dye stuff at home. So we are going to be doing tie-dye today using something most of us have, probably have, paper towels. Okay? Comes out pretty cool. You can't obviously wear your paper towel, but, you know, it's still fun to do, and that's important, right? So, we are going to be using food coloring, okay? If you don't have food coloring, you could try using paint and watering that down. That also works well, okay? I suggest using a little plastic cup like this, just putting a little bit of water in your plastic cup, adding some three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. That's a lot. I probably added too much water. Okay. So I'm going to pour some of my water out of there. I want it to be a little darker. Let's see how that works. Okay. So, you can use either a full paper towel or a half sheet, and there's a few ways to do it. So, the first way I'm going to show you is just folding it in rectangles. Fold it once, fold it twice, and we'll fold it one more time. Okay. Now let's fold it once more. There we go. So, it's a tight rectangle. I'm going to dip one end in a color, and I get to watch it go up. And then I'm going to take the same end, and I'm going to dip it in maybe another color. And I'm going to turn it around, and I'm going to dip it in a different color. And then when I open it up, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze out a little bit of the extra color out of my paper towel back into the cup. And let's open it up to see what we got. Whoa. Cool. <laughs> Stripes. Let me try, let me show you how to do a bullseye. And a bullseye is really cool. You could do a bullseye on a full sheet paper towel or you could do it on a half sheet. Maybe I'll show you on a half sheet. So I'm gonna fold it in half. And then I'm going to make it into a triangle like this. And then I'm gonna fold the triangle again. And then I'm going to take that triangle and I'm going to fold it so that the big side touches the point. Okay. And then I get to take that folded side and dip it in. And that's going to be the very middle of our bullseye. There we go. Cool. I'm going to squeeze out my extra. And... I'm gonna add one more color to the middle of my bullseye. Maybe I'll add a little bit of purple. Cool. Then I'm gonna unfold it. And you can see I have that part of my bullseye. Now I'm gonna do the very middle of my bullseye. I'm gonna make it pink. And if when you're doing it, any of the colors look like they're too light, you can always add a little bit more of your food coloring to make it a little bit darker, okay? And 
that will help a lot. Okay, maybe I'll dip my outside in green. Okay, and squeeze. Okay, time for the magic. Open up your bullseye. And sometimes it'll rip when I'm doing it. Now look at what happened. I only got half a bullseye, but that's okay. I think I must have folded it in the wrong place. And part of this activity is experimenting. So, you know, if it doesn't come out the way you think, then that's okay. In fact, it probably won't, okay? So, but one thing that we should make sure to do is be okay with having fun with it and not worrying about how it, the outcome, okay? So, um, experiment with different ways of folding. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. I think all of you have, have my email and I hope you have a great time Oh, P.S., it is a lot more fun if you put music on while you're doing it. So put on some fun music while you're tie-dyeing, okay? The only reason I don't have it on is so you can hear what I'm saying really well, okay? Bye, have a great week, and I will see you soon.